is what the Lord gave me, okay? Prophetic word, the mountain part two. So you need to not only be on that mountain, but you need to know how to speak to that mountain. A lot of us are enduring spiritual warfare like never before. Okay. And it is discouraging at times. You're going to feel like, Lord, what is going on? You're going to feel like, Lord, where are you? You're going to feel like I'm praying and praying and praying. Don't see you, God. Where are you? And God said, listen, I gave you everything that you need. It's already in you. And guess what? Your, your, your most powerful weapon is right here. It's your mouth. And this is why you also cannot just be going around just saying anything. Okay. Listen, this is the time where you are supposed to learn how to use your mouth. You're going to use your mouth to tell that mountain to be removed, okay, from your life. You know, um, you know you've been praying and praying and praying and God's like, listen, you speak it and I'm going to do it. If you speak it out of your mouth, I'm going to do it. So here is scripture to back up what I'm saying. In Mark 11 and 23, it says, For assuredly, I say to you, whoever says to this mountain, be removed and cast into the sea and does not doubt in his heart, but believes that those things or believe that those things he say will be done. He will have whatever he says. OK, listen, a lot of us are not speaking to our mountains. Why? You don't feel like you have enough confidence to speak to a mountain because you haven't been on the mountain. You have spent no time with God. You have no power in Christ. OK, that's what the Bible is saying. And not only that, it's a lot of people who be like, yeah, I spoke to the mountain. I spoke to the mountain. I told them the mountain to be removed. And guess what? God said you can't speak to no mountain except you spend time on the mountain with me. A lot of us are trying to speak to things going on in our lives. And guess what? You have no power because you have not spent the proper time with the Holy Spirit. You listen, you're not being downloaded. OK, many of you are like, well, I exercise my authority and nothing is happening. And, you know, witchcraft is still hitting me and this and that and monetary spirits and all of these things. And guess what? You have to what? Speak to the mountain. OK, so that is what the Lord has given me today. But it also gives us more directions on what we need to do after we cast the mountain into the sea, right? It says that we need to what? Believe. A lot of us don't believe what we be talking about for real. A lot of us be like, oh, you know, I'm a Christian, whatever. But you don't really believe that. You don't really believe that you have power. You don't even believe that Jesus really rose in three days. You don't believe nothing. You don't even know why you're a Christian. you just a Christian because, you know, your mom went to church, your grandma went to church. So you like, oh, I'm a Christian. But really, you don't believe anything that you're saying. Uh-oh. Okay, so you have to speak to that mountain say, Adios, okay? And then you have to what? Believe. And then this is the third thing that blew my mind. A lot of us are doing or uh, maybe doing these two. You know, you may be casting it out and believing that it's done. But guess what? You, you lack this third thing, okay, that the Bible tells us to do in Mark 11. It says to what? It says to forgive. A lot of us are not seeing the fruit of what we um, are believing for because we're not forgiving people their offenses and their trespasses. And God is like, listen, you, you doing all two of these things and that's good. But this last third thing you're not doing, you're not forgiving people their offenses, put people in. You have no heaven or hell to put people in. Okay. So you have to let God deal with people the way that he's going to deal with people. Let God deal with situations the way he's going to deal. Okay. And listen, let it go. Okay. Because ultimately it's blocking you up. You best to carve out some time for God and be on the mountains so that you can begin to cast these mountains into the sea. Okay. And tell them to be thou removed out of your life and out of your children's lives and out of your great, great grandchildren's lives. Okay. And saving your lineage. So God bless you. I love you until next time. God bless.